Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. If you haven't heard, there is a huge trial right now between Johnny Depp and his ex-wife, Amber Heard. To sum it up, Depp is suing Heard for defamation of his character stemming from an article in the Washington Post written by Heard, where Heard makes claims that she is a public figure representing domestic abuse. This article and the statements therein were referencing her marriage with Depp, but did not directly mention his name. In this trial, we are seeing evidence showing that Amber may be responsible for the abuse and domestic violence, and not as the victim as she claims. Since the Me Too movement started in 2006, it has predominantly been run, represented, and tagged by females. Whenever domestic violence or abuse concerns are raised, we, as a society, usually tend to side with the female party. We often forget that men can be victims of abuse and domestic violence too. Let me say it again, men can also be victims of abuse and domestic violence. So with that said, let's look at four common misconceptions about male victims of any type of abuse or domestic violence. Myth number one, the statistics show that there are more female victims of abuse and domestic violence than male victims. According to a 2011 study, researchers found that the number of reported domestic violence cases that represented male victims made up roughly 11.5%. Notice the key word, reported. They also found two common reasons for abuse going unreported and why the number is so low. One is due to men wanting to hide the fact that this is happening. This may be due to the shame of admitting it's happening or more commonly, they may be afraid of receiving backlash. Another reason men may not report these occurrences may be due to the feeling that the injury or damage wasn't enough to warrant a report. Another study from 2012 found that some men didn't report their abuse because they believed the police wouldn't take them seriously or do anything about it. But just because the incident goes unreported doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's important to know the signs of abuse, especially when so many cases are going unreported. Check out Psych2Go's videos such as 10 Red Flags of Abuse. Myth number two, you're not a real man if you can't take it. Let's be very, very clear. No one, regardless of gender, should have to be able to take abuse. No one is deserving of abuse or disrespect of any kind. When someone experiences an abusive event, the emotions that arise range from shame to fear, to sadness, to anger, and every emotion in between. These are human emotions, not only male identifying or only female identifying emotions. When we, as a society, condemn these emotions in men, why would men wanna come forward to reveal that they're having these feelings or experiencing abusive events? Myth number three, she didn't come at you for no reason. First, this statement makes the man the victim of domestic violence, the one at fault when wrong is being done to them. It suggests that whatever he did made the other person hit them. He can't be a victim if he's the reason it happened in the first place. Secondly, this stereotype insinuates that if someone does something bad enough, it's justified to respond with physical abuse. Just like we tell kindergartners, we keep our hands to ourselves unless there's consent. Violence should never be anyone's response in a conflict. And myth number four, it's not abuse if she doesn't leave a mark on you. We left the most appalling for last. There are some individuals that believe all abuse involves some type of physical act. Some will even go a step further to state that a physical act is all right as long as a mark, bruise, cut, or wound isn't left. This is simply wrong. Abuse can take many forms and can be physical, sexual, emotional, verbal, or mental. Yes, it can be a slap or throwing a glass bottle at someone. It can also be gaslighting them, saying things happened when they didn't to make them doubt themselves. It can be saying derogatory things to your partner to lower their self-esteem. Abuse may not leave a mark that can be seen, but it will always leave a mark on the person's mind and heart. Abuse and domestic violence don't apply to one gender or party. If you or a loved one think you are in an abusive relationship, tell someone ask for help, or reach out to a trusted mental health professional. There are people who will believe you and who are there to listen. Please share this important video with others. The references and studies used are listed in the description below.
Until next time, friends, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.